Uh, Sheila, buenos días. Uh, welcome to everybody to the Club Natació Atlético Barceloneta. I want to speak in the name of uh, the club because the president, for the president, it has been impossible to be here. Then uh, the the first of uh, of everything is to say hello everybody in this club, in our club. This this year is his uh, first century. This is for the first thing. Then I want to say. Welcome everybody to the presentation of the Water Polo World Players Association. For me it's a pleasure to be here and I want to say thanks to Felipe for asking me to make this presentation. I want to congratulate him for the idea and always uh, also Tony Acevedo. I wish that all the players that are involved in the association will fight to improve our sport. For that you will have to contribute with new and good ideas because I'm sure that the players are able to give more value to water polo. But we need that. Fina Orlen, hear us. If all the players go on in the same way, I am completely sure that our sport will be better known and will go on perfectly. Thanks again and I wish you the best for this World Championship. Enjoy our championship. Enjoy our city, Barcelona. Thank you. And now has the word. Okay. Right. Um, first, I'd like to thank uh, Club Barceloneta and Mr. Jordi Sanz for allowing us to be here, as well as uh, Felipe for organizing all of this. I mean, this wouldn't have been possible without him. Uh, Carlota back there, she has been amazing, so uh, thank you as well. And you guys for coming, you know, uh, this idea, you know, I started, I've been playing all around the world for many years and had the, the luxury of being able to play with some of you great players. And at these world championships and Olympics, I've sat down and talked and had coffees over and over with you guys and heard so many great ideas of what we can do to help our sport. And it's disappointing that the people who sacrifice and give everything in our sport don't have any say in our sport. So for this organization, I, you know, I want, for the first time ever, this is the first water polo players organization in the history of our sport. We should be proud that we're a part of this. And for me, I see a future where we can finally start discussing amongst players all over the world. Not just Europe, not just if you're on a team, but all over the world, we want to open discussions and figure out what the best way to grow our sport is. I think the timing is perfect. As you all know, the situation in Europe with money and everything, I think now is the time that, that we as the players, the ones who play the best sport in the world, the ones who sacrifice everything, that we get together and start trying to make a, a difference uh, for the future of our sport. Because unfortunately, I think if we don't, then maybe our kids won't be able to see what the sport, this beautiful sport is that we play, was like. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, Felipe's gonna speak a little bit as well, and uh, thanks again. Hello to everybody. Um, I think, in the beginning, I would like to, to say thank you to everybody to come here, because it's really important, I know that we are always focused in the, the world champs, but the most important thing is that we see that we are together and we all think that this organization can be a way to, to help the water polo players and help not like help to, to put our idea, our ideas in the table that we can discuss, that we can pass these ideas to Len, Fina, but even much more than this, I think uh, the organization can can be a place where we can find some service that we don't have yet. And another thing, increase the, the, the solidarity and the help between ourselves. So we, I think we all, um, we all together can do much more things than just by ourselves. So we, we must use this, this, organization as a place where as Tony said where we always talking about ideas and we hope in this organization we can put these ideas together we hope in these organizations we can have someone to help us when we don't get paid we hope in this organization we can help other 
countries to get stronger in more Apollo. So there is many, many things and many, many goals that this organization can help us. And uh, it's for me, it's really, really, I feel so happy that we are all are here. And our, this organization, I have many people that help me. First of all, Barceloneta that, and Chiki, that, Jordi Sanz that help us with everything. Carlota, Mark, Jordi, all of us was so important. And there is one person here that maybe me and Tony, we get this player view. I am like giving a local view because as I said to Tony, there is a world view, but every, in every, every player here from every country, it's really important, the local representative, the local, because to think a global view, we need to work by ourselves in, in our country. So I'm, we'll try to do this in Spain. I need to say thank you to Dani and to Jenny and Micah that they are helping me a lot with this. And I hope in every country like Marina Canet in, in Brazil and Maurizio in, in, in Italy that help to, to, to develop this, this, this organization. And uh, I need to let you know that we are doing a lot of things, but there is one guy that is Alessandro Oliveira. That I will pass him to talk now that he's doing like so, so many things to help us. I just want to say thank you for him for doing this. And, uh, and we hope that we can, we can fix this organization and, and, and that all players feel confident to talk to you and to give our ideas and to feel a place where we can, we can expose ourselves and we can, we can, a place where the players feel comfortable to talk and to, and to grow our polo. Okay. Thank you, Felipe. I think it's uh, this is the right opportunity to explain a little bit more about services, uh, what concretely WPO is willing to do in the near and long future. Our uh, first. Uh, task is to set up uh, country delegations. As uh, Felipe correctly said, local point of view is important and if you want to have the best approach for uh, the local, the locals, what you need is uh, to have a setup, a base in uh, each country, each water polo country. So the first task is to establish and set up country delegations and for this we need uh, committed people that believe in the mission statement of uh, WPO introduced by Tony previously to bring all players together and uh, the main task for country delegates will be the management of the country database we would like to set up a database wh where we collect information about members, players that will enroll uh, into WPO website, but also information about clubs. So we would like to know what are the clubs in a country, what they do, and uh, if there is some history in, uh, in the relationship with uh, players.